Welcome to the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. I'm Andrea Lothar, Director of Visitor Services. A visit to our museum is a great way to learn about the American experience. Our collections and programs tell the stories of individuals whose courage and inspiration have made their mark on all of us. We think this is the best way to make history really come alive for new generations of Americans. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Our three floors of exhibitions and the museum's wide variety of daily programs offer terrific opportunities for learners of all ages to engage with their history. Admission is free. Being a watchwoman is hard work. As a vital part of the Smithsonian, the museum welcomes everyone, including visitors with disabilities. The entire facility is wheelchair accessible, and sign language interpreters are available if requested at least two weeks in advance. Thank okay. you very much. You're welcome. Planning ahead is the number one key to a successful visit. We suggest you allow, at minimum, an hour and a half, more if you plan to have lunch. For the most successful visit, we recommend you choose one or two themes so your group will have a more focused experience. It's almost impossible to see everything in one visit. Planning should start with a trip to our website, where you'll find the best, most up-to-date information about daily programs and facilities. Remember, even our permanent exhibitions are closed on occasion, so our website will let you know what will be on display when you arrive and which galleries may be closed for renovation. While you're visiting our website, check out our school visit page for pre- and post-visit materials. For example, your students may enjoy watching our short orientation video before they arrive, or they can select a downloadable self-guide. Finally, we encourage you to save time by using our convenient online form to register your group in advance. If your group arrives by bus, ask the driver to drop off and pick up on the mall side of the building unless otherwise posted. Before everyone gets off, remind them to leave their backpacks behind along with anything else they don't need. That way your group can speed through security. Once inside, if you have not already registered online, please register at the Welcome Center, centrally located next to the mall entrance. Staff there will provide you with maps and other materials. It's good to let your group know where to gather at the end of your visit. Younger students should stay with their chaperones at all times. Some older students might enjoy time to explore on their own, especially if they've thought ahead about what they'd like to see. Your students will have many opportunities to interact with our friendly staff. This is actually water vapor. At carts throughout the museum, we offer objects that can be touched, worn by women in El Salvador, and encourage visitors to share their responses with staff and volunteers. Demonstrations, daily performances, and docents stationed throughout the galleries enhance the visitor experience. If, at any time, visitors in your group need help, they should ask a member of our friendly staff. What happened? In an emergency, please find a security officer. This brings to mind the important role of chaperones. Besides the obvious and essential role of guiding young people towards behaviors that will keep them and other visitors safe, Properly prepared chaperones facilitate learning by modeling active listening and participation. She was one of the very first female college professors. Mm -hmm. Yes. Please make chaperones part of your pre-visit planning. That way, they'll be active partners in your students' learning when they get to the museum. It's funny how a visit to the museum can build up the appetite. While we don't have bag lunch facilities, you may purchase meals or snacks in our main cafeteria. But please remember, food and drinks may not be consumed anywhere else in the museum. If you have bag lunches, we recommend that you leave them on the bus or have the chaperones hold on to them during the visit. In good weather, you can picnic outdoors. Groups of 20 or more may contact Smithsonian Group Sales to make special arrangements for ordering lunches at a discounted price. A menu is available on our website.
to Freedom Land. Don't let your engagement stop when you leave the building. Keep in touch using our website where you'll find follow-up activities, have a chance to ask questions, and share thoughts about your visit. Don't miss History Explorer, the special section for educators. It offers standards-based lesson plans for your classroom and insight into selected objects from our collection for different grade levels. Our goal at the National Museum of American History is that visitors will take away the idea that history is made by real people, like you. And who knows, maybe one day the museum will be telling your story or the story of one of your students. Enjoy your visit to the National Museum of American History.